Hello everyone. Today we're going to do November 2020 forecast. Okay, for love. Okay, and I'm going to do something a little different today. We're going to use um, the Romance Angel deck. We're going to use the Sacred Power reading cards for guidance as an oracle, and we're going to use the tarot cards of. Oh, there's a crowd. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to put three stacks and this time I'm going to do it a little different than usual because I know that there's a lot of single people out there and I know that there's people in relationships and then there's people that are in complicated situations. Okay, So I want to let you know that you could pick three stacks. You could pick as many as you want depending on your situation. Maybe you're single, but maybe you're also in a complicated situation. You know what I mean? So I'm going to divide all of this in three. And if you want, you can go ahead and skip on, you know, and find your stack. Or you could stay here and watch me shuffle. <laughs> also, guys, I wanted to let you know, if you guys want reading, personal reading for your personal situation, then that's cool with me. Go to the links below, and I'll be happy to give you a reading. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, give it a little subscription. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you like this video at the end, if, it's, if it helped you. Okay. Also, comment your situation. I'd like to know, and I'd love to hear about it. Okay. okay, one, two, three, four. We're gonna pick one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and we're gonna pick two of these. Okay, all right. One, two, one, two. Actually, one. What I did last time for last month, okay? All right, so we got it here. Let's put the stacks. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. got it. All right, so this one's for singles, this one's for relationship people. And this is for complicated people. Okay, it's complicated. Let's see what you have for this month. Okay. Ooh, we have illusions. Okay. Okay, for the first week of this month, we have the tower. Okay. Second week, we have success. Oh, we have a card that is not even a card, but that's okay because we could always find get another card. Okay. Third week we have failure. Fourth week we have worry. Pretty intense so far. Now let's see your angel deck messages. Okay. You have children here involved or a childlike quality. Codependency. And chemistry. Wow. Okay, guys. Wow, this November is crazy. Okay, so this is the summary of this of this month for you guys. Okay, we have illusion, guys. Okay, maybe there's something in the situation that you're in in which there's a lot of shadow truth and there's a lot of things that are not being said or commented on, or there's something that you're not being told. There's something not clear. And perhaps you're making up a story for the other person, okay? Or you're making excuses for the other person, but it says illusions. Okay, this is the this is the overall summary of this month. Now, on the first week, we have the tower. Okay, there's gonna be some intense situations in the first week, um, but this don't worry. This is the this is the second card for the highest card of healing in the deck. Okay. So whatever rips you apart inside, whatever you internalize and, and remove out of your life, um, it's something that will heal you at the end, okay? That's something, you're just getting rid of something inside of you that's... Alternatively, this could mean that there could be, you know, disturbances, you know, in this situation that you're in, in which a lot of things will be said. I mean, look at the picture, you know? 
that could definitely be what will happen this first week. Okay, so be aware of that. We have the second week success in love. Okay, maybe you got something out of the other person that you wanted. Maybe they finally gave you what you wanted in the relationship, but you got success. Okay, so that's a good thing, I believe. The third week we have failure. Okay. There's a failure. There's something now now at the third week after you got the success and find you know it's funny because this card is number six, six of disc. And then this one follows, seven of disc. So the third week you're gonna have to reevaluate where this is going again. Okay, maybe they were on a good <laughs> maybe on the second week they were on a good mood and everything turned out great and we had a great week, but the third week there's something that you're gonna have to reevaluate. Like they're just misbehaving. There's something that they're not doing, you know. And then on the fourth week, we have worry. Worry about communicating about maybe how you feel. Um, maybe worried about whether they're seeing someone else. Are they cheating on you? Um, worried about whether, uh, what are they going to do in the future? Where is this going? Kind of, you know, kind of thing, you know. What am I going to do now? Okay. Now. We have here uh, children, sorry, where's the children card? Children involved, it can, if you're in a relationship in which they are involved in another relationship, maybe the children are in the way. It says here, your love life is being affected by children, okay? Now, maybe you wanna have children, okay? You have, to, you have to tailor this to your situation. I don't know your situation. I'm just reading the energies. But um, maybe children is a problem here in your situation. You know that you want to have children, but your other, you, the other person doesn't have want to have children, or maybe children are in the way, and maybe you are involved in a three-way relationship, and the other person can't leave the other person because there's children involved, type of deal. Or maybe they're just being childish. Okay, um, we have chemistry. Okay, and I think it goes with this. There's chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, so this is why you're with this person because there's a lot of chemistry that you probably never felt before with another person. Okay. Codependency. Hmm. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. You're like dependent on this person emotionally. And I think this is why there's this ripple effect in the beginning, like this strong, you know, thing going on. And this is why this is going on. Okay, so you're gonna have to reevaluate your codependency and maybe try to be a little bit independent. Okay. I know it's hard. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is the reading for this month, and uh, comment below. Tell me what it is that you think that's going on in your life. Like, what's going on, okay? How did this, how did this reading go for you? Also, if you want to read another uh, deck, like singles, for example, be my guest. Or a relationship. Maybe you are in a relationship, but maybe this is a real situation, <laughs> okay? All right, guys, next deck. All right, guys, so we're going to do the relationship, okay, the relationship stack, okay? So, uh, yeah, let's lay them out. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to put that over there. That's the other stack we had. All right, so we have here protection. Okay, this is the main theme of this month, protection. We have the hangman. We have the princess of cups. And we have the ace of swords. And we have gain. Okay, now let's see what the angel decks have for messages for us this month. Okay, we have very soon. Okay. Wedding? Ooh, this is great. And unrequited love. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so the theme uh, of this month is protection. Okay. Ah, could this person be overprotective of you? Jealous? Okay, could they be the jealous type? Or could you be the one trying to protect this relationship and trying to make it work? Okay. I mean, only you know. Now, the first week of this month, November 2020, we have the hangman. We have a situation in which we feel stuck. We feel like we have to surrender because there's just no room. There's no options that we have, okay? And we feel like perhaps time is going slow at the beginning of this month in this relationship. Maybe there's something that you want from this person, okay? wedding and you want it very soon and you're I'm just you know di uh, using my intuition here because I everybody's situation is different unrequited love okay these are just possibilities now or maybe you feel like this person you are in a relationship with this person but 
you, you feel like they don't love you back the way you want them, okay? Now, the second week of this of this month, we have here the Prince of Cups, a very romantic individual, very artistic, free-flowing love. These are the key words that I get from this card. So I think the second week of this month is going to be great. It's going to be romantic, maybe go out on dinner, um, go to the park, uh, enjoy life. That's what, that's what it deals. So it's going to be smooth sailing on the second week. The third week we have Ace of Swords. There's going to be some clarity about something. This is great, guys. Okay, an idea that came out, a solution, but it's great. Okay, so stay tuned for that. And gain. We have here the last week of this month we have gain. Okay, it could be that you're moving into a new house, a new apartment together, um, grouping. This is also the card of grouping. But gain is more of a material thing. But I think that when it comes to love, it would be like you're, you gained something, you gained a statue. Maybe they say, okay, we're finally going to get married. Maybe there's finally going to be a wedding or maybe there's finally going to be a commitment. Okay, uh, a real, you know, commitment, meet the parents type of deal. Very soon. Okay, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, this is the message that you're getting. Unrequited love. Could there be some insecurities in here, in this relationship? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, this reminds me of over here, you know, and it's funny because I put it over here. And this card is sort of like you're hung, like you don't know what to do. It could also be a lack of awareness as well, okay? It could be a lack of awareness. So perhaps this is why there's protection in this. We got the main theme of protection in this month because perhaps you feel threatened you feel like there's something that's perhaps threatening this relationship okay you feel like someone could probably come take your woman or your man or whatever okay maybe there's a threat an outside threat but for the good news is that it's going to be a very very good month there's clarity and there's actually physical movement okay which it's good it's not just all talk and there's emotions as well. We got the Princess of Cups. You know, it's just this that worries me. And I think it's more of having a very high defense of being afraid, you know. I mean, but overall, great. I mean, you got wedding. You got very soon. Is there a wedding going on here? I mean, let me know in the comments. Like, what's going on with you guys? Does this resonate with you? What part resonates with you? What message did you find? Okay. Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to read another one, be my guest. Okay, maybe there's a situation going on here that's deeper. Go to the deep, go to the situation pile. All right. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you guys want a reading, let me know. Links are below. Okay, wish you the best. On to the next pile. All right, guys, let's do the single pile. Okay. Lightning, debauch, queen of wands, change and struggle. Okay, please excuse my little bird. I have a little love bird and she always loves to be in the conversation. Now we have calling in your soulmate. Okay, um, attraction. And we have forgiving and learning. Okay, okay guys. Lightning, this is going to be the main theme of this month. Lightning, all right. Quickness, and it's funny because we have also, we have the card of change, the two of, of, we have the two of pentacles here, okay. So, I, I see there's going to be a lot of changes this month, and they're going to come very, very quickly, okay. Now, the beginning of this month, we have desire desire for someone desire to meet someone that you connect with okay wishing and perhaps there's someone that you already have in your mind okay now for the second week we have the queen of wands we have wisdom okay and we also have going after what you want so maybe there is uh, someone that you want and the second week you decide to okay I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna tell them that I like them or I'm, I'm gonna do what it takes for them to you know to come in and give me a chance type of deal okay now if you are single you don't like anybody it could mean that you're gonna go out there and you know and put yourself out there okay 
um, open the doors of opportunities. Give give yourself a window of opportunities so that the opportunity can come in. You gotta make yourself available. Okay, you gotta go out. Okay, you're gonna make an attempt. On on the third week, we have change. Okay, it's gonna be a change. There's gonna be a change, and I, I think it's an internal one. On the fourth week, we have strife. We have struggle. Okay, struggling to get the person that we want to get the attention from. Okay, struggle in the dating world. So there's difficulty. All right, but you definitely want someone in your life. Definitely, we have here the Seven of Cups, desires. Okay, you know, thinking, illusions, um, fantasizing. Okay, about that person. Or fantasizing about that person that you want in your life it doesn't have to be one specific person now we have interesting cards here angel messages cards we have forgiving and learning okay it says here as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment okay so this could be an advice for you to perhaps forgive and learn from the past in order to perhaps open yourself up a little bit more Okay, to meeting other people and giving them a chance, perhaps. This is also we have attraction. Okay, we have here it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this this moment fully. Okay. It could be an attraction that you have towards a certain specific type of individual. It could be a type that you have. Maybe you fantasize about a movie star, <laughs> okay? And you just wish that you could just attract that type of person into your life. Could, could they look like that person? Could they act like that person? Okay, we have here calling in your soulmate. Okay. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring bring you together. Okay. So, you're probably praying at night. You're probably visualizing, trying to use a law of attraction to bring that special person into your life. Okay. But this month, okay, the message of this month is that there's going to be a lot of changes. And I think it's internal. Okay, and you might have a little bit of a pessimistic view of the world by the ending of this month, but don't worry. You know, it's just a month. Things change. You're in control of your life. Okay. But yeah, this month, you're going to definitely go after what you want. There's going to be a change and then there's going to be a struggle by the ending of this month. Okay. I think it's what it's asking you is to learn, forgive, let go of that, and realize that it's not easy. Okay, it's not easy to find that person that connects with you and has chemistry with you. I think that is the message of the cards here. Okay, but definitely this month you're going to be wishing on that that special person. And there's going to be a lot of changes of lightning. A lot of, maybe the person that you liked and you had this, you know, idealist uh, view of them. Perhaps after you go after them, maybe it changes. And then you're kind of like struggling with that. You're like, I can't believe I like this person. Okay, that's just an example. All right. Okay, guys, I hope you got some clarity here of this month of what's to come. And if you want to go for the situational one, maybe there is someone you like, go for the situational pile. Okay, and get more clarity there. All right. Okay, guys, I really wish you the best. I, re I hope you have a really good, nice November. Let me know how it goes. Go to the comment section. Tell me how you're feeling. I would really appreciate that. Okay. All right, guys. Bye-bye.